In this video, we will study a common issue in inverter air conditioners that occurs when the unit turns on and then shuts off after about 10 seconds without any apparent reason. First, it is important to understand how the inverter compressor works. These compressors start at low speed to avoid power surges and excessive energy consumption. The inverter control manages both the frequency and voltage, allowing the compressor to gradually increase its speed according to the cooling demand. This optimizes energy usage and extends the compressor's lifespan. Starting at low speed also reduces stress on components and minimizes starting surges. However, the system must generate enough torque at low frequencies to overcome mechanical inertia, which requires proper synchronization between the compressor and the electronic control board. Possible causes and solutions for the issue. 1. If the compressor shuts off quickly, it could be due to excessive current consumption caused by a fault in the compressor motor. Check if the unit displays an error code and consult its meaning. If there is no code, measure the current draw with an ammeter and compare it to the maximum value on the information label. If the current exceeds the LRA value, there might be an electrical problem. 2. If you detect high current consumption, check the electrical connections and look for possible faulty contacts. Disconnect the compressor and measure the resistance between its terminals using a multimeter set to the ohm scale. The values should neither be zero nor infinite, and all three measurements should be almost equal. 3. If the problem isn't found in the compressor or the wiring, the next step is to check the condition of the Intelligent Power Module IPM. A. Ensure the unit is completely disconnected before proceeding. B. Set your multimeter to the diode test mode and identify the model number of the IPM module to correctly recognize the terminals. C. Place the red probe of the multimeter on the negative, ground, pit of the IPM. Now, using the black probe, measure the U, V, and W terminals of the IPM module sequentially. The readings for all three phases, U, V, and W, should be almost identical. Any significant disparity could indicate a fault in the module. D. Now, using the identified IPM terminals, place the black probe of the multimeter on the positive pin of the IPM. Then, place the red probe on the U, V, and W terminals sequentially. 4. The readings should be consistent, with similar values across all three terminals, U, V, and W. Any significant variation could indicate a problem with the IPM module. 5. If the issue persists, there might be a short circuit in the PFC power factor correction circuit where faulty high power capacitors could be the cause. 6. False overload alarm. If the current measured in step 1 is normal, the system might be detecting a false overload alarm. In this case, there could be an issue with the compressor overload switch. Try temporarily bypassing the switch to see if the error disappears. 7. There is also a possibility that the issue is caused by a refrigerant leak. In this case, the current measured in step 1 will be significantly lower than normal. When there is a leak, the compressor takes longer to shut down, but the problem arises when the temperature sensors fail to detect proper cooling. In response, the control strategy automatically shuts off the unit to protect the system. It is important to note that in cases of refrigerant leaks, an error code related to the leak usually appears just before the air conditioner shuts off. 
This is crucial for diagnosis, as early detection of a leak allows for timely repairs before it causes further damage to the system.